I'll make sure your death is slow and painful. Tell me why over 20 years ago, we got the greatest violator in 4K. Well, granted, I guess you can't really call it 4K. I guess you have to call it 480p. Committing atrocities. And it all started when Broly did the one taboo that no man enjoys. Being attacked when you're sleeping. That's a sacred time for a man. That and when he's eating. And Broly outright violates it. But we should have figured this was going to happen. Because a little bit before that, we got a stare down between Broly and Goku when they first met. And Broly did not like Goku at all. He did not enjoy his presence. He didn't know this guy, but he did not like him. Cutting back to it, when Broly runs the hands with Goku when he was sleeping, Goku, not thinking that he needs to transform, tries to attack Broly, for it to do no effect. A true violator doesn't have weaknesses, and we'll see that now as Broly does his authoritative walk, tearing off his own skin when he transforms, and ignores Vegeta's little kick that he does. You know, just like Cell did when he also went perfection, he ignored Vegeta's kick as well. And Broly, after transforming, told everybody that he is the raid boss. Now come on. Catch his violation. And Goku, the character we all know for wanting to go head first to danger, immediately goes to the defensive and tries to protect Gohan while also running for his life. Never forget, this is still the same character that challenged a god to a sparring match after meeting and hearing about his destructive force. Talk about you, Beerus. And boy, we all know how that match went. <laughs> Speaking of Beerus, Broly did the same thing to Vegeta. He broke Vegeta mentally. Beerus and Frieza are the only two people that have ever broken Vegeta mentally. And when we cut away from Vegeta, we see Broly is doing all his environmental damage. Man, I'll tell you what. If you watch DC, Swamp Thing will have some words to say. But Broly doesn't have any words to say when he stands in the presence of three Super Saiyans. As Goku, Trunks, and Gohan all transform to their respective Super Saiyan state. Broly, very much unimpressed with what is seen, lets the viewers know that you are about to watch an MMA beatdown. And then he starts to give chase, not letting up, just like slave masters in their slave. You planet buses are too afraid to show your real power. So watch me. <laughs> now what fuels a violator is having victims. And now we witness Broly's first victim, Trunks. The same person who absolutely sliced and diced Frieza. Doesn't mean anything to Broly as he becomes the first victim on our list. Now for the second victim, we got Kakarot. After telling his son to leave for safety, he himself wasn't safe. For he gets punted flawlessly, may I say, with a bicycle kick straight to the noggin. Then the third victim. Young Goat, with the potential yet to be unleashed, we ain't gonna see that here. Cause Broly skates go on through the concrete, causing two more backup dancers to show up and try to oppose him. But it was no use. A violator gotta do what a violator gotta do. So he violates. So the committee of violators sent their black representative to try to stop him. This needs to stop. But they're still alive. Yeah, there's no reasoning with them. So the representative of the black community got everyone together for one last stand. As Broly stands up like a 400 pound, built like Shrek post-divorce does what Goku did to Kefla 15 years before it even happened. Stands there and dodges two planet busters with his arms folded and proceeds to body Piccolo with his stance alone. Linebacker Gohan and Trunks and punts Piccolo to Kingdom Come. Then we get this. What do you say you give us a handicap? Is that another word for coffin? This violator! Oh my gosh! He's like unlike any creature we've seen before or after. And then he takes a full power Kamehameha to the face! Point blank! Not even Cell could take a point blank Kamehameha and leave unscathed. And Vegeta, after finally growing a pair, remembers that he is what he deems the greatest Saiyan ever alive. At least to this point in the story, you know, until, you know, Vegeta goes through his whole character arc. Vegeta, at this point, he's on that demon energy and steps up to the plane. Ready to hit Broly with a. But Broly cheats. Game very disrespectful on Vegeta. Ay, 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 Broly, calm down a little bit. If none of them can beat you, then what can? Well, I'll tell you who can beat them. The animators, the writers, and the movie runtime. All of it coming together to stop this one violator by giving us the combined power of the Super Glock with plop power. Finishing Broly with the sure you can. Then Broly is absolutely finished. If you theoretically speaking want me to talk about Broly's second coming, help me reach this video to 100 likes. If this happens, I got you 100%. But until then, I suggest you watch my previous video about Goku Black, how he became the God Reaper of the Dragon Ball Universe. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. Stay safe and peace.